great great my lip liner just just broke hi okay. everyone how are you guys i am back for a makeup video a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do beauty videos again and i'm so excited to be here and i just want to start off by saying thank you for all of your kind words on my last video the i hate dating video it was literally just me raw i was so frustrated that day that I filmed that and you know you guys made it so much better and I thank you guys so much for your kind words because I reading some of the comments I literally was I was crying and it just means the world to me because I uh, guess we all go through these struggles but it's so nice to have people pick you back up when you need it the most so thank you guys so much and a lot of you have requested me to do beauty videos again so here I am and I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm doing a get ready with me today because it's a little bit more low-key than an actual like structured makeup tutorial because I haven't done one of those in a long time I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible because if you've been watching me you know my videos are like way longer than they should be and I talk 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 but if you want to see how I got this makeup look right here which is pretty much my go-to makeup look as of late this is pretty much all I do every single day and I use the same products you guys are going to get a sneak peek into what I've been using and loving lately and I think that's the best part about this but again I just want to say thank you so much for your sweet kind words it means the world to me and I'm so excited to be back and let's just get on to this makeup look <laughs> All right, everyone, let's get started. I'm in my robe right now. This is truly a get ready with me, so let's just jump right into it because if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know my videos are long. So grab a drink, grab some popcorn, grab something to nibble on, and I have my coffee right here. Ah, so it gives me some energy. And yeah, all right, we're gonna jump right into it. I already did my skincare, and I'm wearing Paracone skincare, obviously. I work for Paracone, and when the new kind of rebranding fully rolls out, I'm gonna be doing Paracone videos. Not like a lot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, reviews and like talking about my favorite products from the brand. There are amazing products, and I only use Paracone skincare, so that's what it is um, if you're curious I use the Paracone vitamin C ester serum love this stuff for the daytime and then I use the uh, rejuvenating moisturizer from the essential FX line this is my lab sample I am literally look at it it's almost gone so the new packaging of this rolls out soon so essential effects rejuvenating moisturizer <gasps> heavenly and then the matching essential effects eye cream love this stuff okay so enough about skincare i actually already primed my face because i'm trying to save some time on this get ready with me but i'm always using the hourglass veil primer so good i'm kind of over it though it is like an amazing product but i want to try something different so if you have recommendations for a good face primer leave it down below i would love to hear your recommendations so that is that now i haven't been wearing foundation lately i've literally just been wearing this baby right here which i was going to do a whole makeup haul but then i started using all the things and now i don't know what's new and what's not new so here we go this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer by Too faced super full coverage it says you can conceal contour highlight and retouch this is pretty much a really 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 big concealer it's a huge it's uh, 15 milliliters it's a half of an ounce this has been my go-to my favorite it is so good super full coverage but it's not as crazy matte as you guys are gonna die look Tarte Shape Tape hello obviously I love this stuff so much but once this baby came out if you haven't tried this concealer the born this way the new one and you love Shape Tape you will thank me later. Oh, you know what? You're welcome. But I pretty much focus this under the eyes first, obviously, because I have some crazy dark circles. They're there, I see them. And then I pretty much, I don't double dip. All I use is one doe foot full. I can't, I can't think of the words right now. I clearly haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long, but I really just kind of focus it in the center of the face, and then I'm just gonna blend it out, honestly. This stuff is amazing. If you guys are curious, this is the color Warm Beige that I am wearing. I don't think I'm gonna get dark enough to pop up to the next darkest shade, so I've just been kind of working with this one. Uh, you guys can tell I do have quite a bit of color from going to the beach, going to the pool, so 
I'm just pressing this in with a beauty sponge. This one is from e.l.f. I haven't used a lot of e.l.f. products lately, but this sponge is amazing. They sent me a whole box of stuff a while ago, and I've been kind of picking at it, and I pulled this out, and I have not put it down since. I literally just blend it out, and I blend it all the way out as far as it can blend, and I focus it where I need the most coverage, so that's typically in the center of the face for me, and then I blend it up. I never really kind of touch the outside of my forehead just because that's my natural tan color, so I'm going to blend my bronzer into that, and I just, I don't like to wear a lot of foundation, especially lately, it's just, it's not my thing. Alright, so we have the concealer sort of blended, placed. It's on the face, let's just say that. And now all I really do is go over with some powder. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the Warm Tones, and it is W6, so it's Warm 6, is that what it is? You guys can tell, I've been using this baby. I've been doing my best to use up what I have. And I focus this on the cheeks first because you guys can see it adds a good amount of coverage. And then I just go over the concealer like under the eyes I just kind of dust it there but I always take the most product and place it right where the contour would technically go and then just buff it out from there again this is a decent coverage kind of look but I only use a few products which I think is my favorite part about it all right since we have most of our face done we're gonna come back and do blush and bronzer and highlight later but you guys know if you've been watching me for a while I like to jump around so I'm going to go on to the eyebrows and then the eye look and um, I'm not gonna take too much time on my eyebrows I use the Anastasia uh, brow powder this is the pro palette and I have every single shade in this but clearly you guys can see the ones that I dip into the most which are these right here in the center. I play around with chocolate, dark brown, and ebony. I honestly, it's like a mixing palette for me, so that's pretty much what I wear on my eyebrows. So I'm going to do those really quick and come back. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. So I hope this is an okay distance for you guys to see. But lately, actually the past like six months, I have been using this and only this. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Eyeshadow Palette. This is her, I want to say it's her original one. But this is the original one that she created. I know she had one back in the day, like years ago. But this is the newer original one. You guys know what I mean. So I've been loving this palette, and honestly, I stick to this section right over here, like the warm neutral colors. The first thing that I always do if I'm doing my eyeshadow is I take the Smashbox Photo Edit Shadow Trio and Nude Pick Light. Looks like this. They're all matte shades. You have a brow bone, a blending color, and then a smoky color. This is my favorite matte trio ever so I just take this lighter shade and I pretty much just go right under the brow bone and kind of just blend it out onto the lid just to kind of give a really kind of matte overlay over everything I've been wearing eyeshadow here and there but I never wear eyeshadow primer anymore before I would have to wear primer now I don't have to and it's great and my eyeshadow doesn't crease that bad so if it's gonna take a step away from my routine I'm all about it. I'm going to take a combination of this color and this color here. So I kind of just mix the two together and this is the color that we're going to put in the crease. I feel like you guys are way too far so let me zoom you in a little bit. down I'm going to go in with this warmer shade right here it's almost like a deeper orangey tone and I'm going to take a little bit of that with just another fluffy brush and just kind of work a little bit into the crease as well I'm now going to take a dip into this kind of like reddish shade right here and that shade I'm just gonna take and place it right here 
in the outer corner and outer half of the lid. I'm gonna even bring it down onto the lid slightly just to get a little more definition right there. Can you guys see that? yellow shade you probably didn't think I was gonna go there but I'm going there and I'm actually going to take this into almost that blending color and we're gonna have a little bit of this just kind of hit the outside edge of that blended shade that's going to meet the brow bone so we're gonna make it all a little slightly just warmer now I'm going to go in with a mixture of pretty much all the shades that we used on the eyes and I'm going to mix them all together and do a little bit of something something on the lower lash line because if I have shadow on my upper lid I kind of want it to blend um, seamlessly onto my lower lash line so I'm going to take the blending shade that we first use and again this is more of a layering factor I am using a stumpy brush it's the coastal sense just like I don't even know smudger brush and I'm just going to take pretty much every single color that we just use on the lid and kind of blend it out on the lower lash line. I'm going to pop to liner. I've been using the Sephora brand waterproof felt liner. I'm just going to line my lids. going I'm actually going to tight line and I'm also going to line my waterline with the Marc Jacobs highliner gel crayon eyeliner and this is just in blacker which is their dark dark black the last thing for the eyes is just some mascara I've been using the it cosmetics Superhero mascara. This stuff is great. I'm not gonna even lie. This is probably my second or third tube of this But I have to say I do usually combine my mascaras. So I've been combining it with the buxom Lash mascara. So these two the combination is a great one. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll be right back Let's jump back to the face and finish it up. The bronzer I will be using today is, of course, my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. You guys know I love this stuff. It's one of my favorites, and I've gone through several of these, and I've hit pan on this one as well. I'm just going to swirl my brush into this and pretty much just use this as my bronzer and contour. I focus it... Oops, sorry. I focus this right where the contour should be, and then I just blend it up to the forehead and just make sure everything is very cohesive. because we gotta keep this rolling. I tend to just get on tangents and start to blab. I'm going to take the Becca blush in Songbird. Is it Songbird? Songbird, yes. And it looks like this. It's this beautiful peachy warm color, like a peachy orangey warm color with my Morphe M530 blush brush. And I'm just going to dust this on the apples of my cheek and blending it back to the hairline. This is the perfect shade for just a summertime warm bronzy look. I don't want to go too heavy. I think I went a little bit too heavy, but that's okay. So that's what I use for my blush. And then for my highlight, I've been loving my little baby Kevin Aquan Contour Duo. Inside you get the contour shade and then you get a highlight shade. So this is the highlight I've been wearing. If I want something a little bit more subtle, more for like an everyday type of glow. Do you guys see that? Like you still have that natural shine. It really reminds me of a lot of the hourglass powders. Now the last thing we're gonna have to do is our lips. So I've been searching high and low for the lip liner that I've been wearing. It's by Palladio and it's called Cafe. And for some reason I cannot find it. I have a whole slew of lip liners here and it was in here unless I'm missing. Am, am I just like missing it? I swear it was in here and now it's not in here and it's driving me crazy. So I'm just Palladio Lip Liner and Cafe. Just go get that one. <gasps> great, great. My lip liner just, just broke. 
Okay. So we're not using this one either. We got to toss this baby. All right. Oh, no. This is like terrible. My first get ready with me tutorial back and my lip liner breaks. All righty. The lipstick, which is the true part and true color of the whole lip look, is the Smashbox lipstick, the legendary, be legendary lipstick in honey. I love this color. It's such a great nude, but it has like that brown kind of undertone to it. See? I just think it goes really well with this eye look. So, that is pretty much it. This is what I've been wearing on the daily because it's summertime and I love that warm, bronzy look. So, I'm going to finish my hair, get out of my robe, and come back and say goodbye to you guys. All right, you guys, that is the entire video. Thank you so much for joining me in doing this makeup look. Again, it's my go-to look, and I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and click on the bell so you get notified to when I post these videos. I'm doing my best to post every single week, and I hope you guys enjoy everything that I put out there. Again, all these new series are coming up. I have other projects that I'm doing as well with friends, and I'm really excited to tell you guys about it, but um, thank you again for your sweet words. They literally mean the world to me because, you know, I go through these motions and I go, you know, just through life and you, you question things sometimes, but I always know that you guys are here for me and it's amazing. So thank you guys so much. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on all my social media. The links will be down below and leave any requests in the comment box and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.